All right then, so we've hooked up now this form so that when we add a new book, then it's gonna add it to the database in MLab. But when we add a new book, it's not automatically updating here. So for example, if I had a new book called Thud, uh, Genre Fantasy, and select author, Terry Pratchett. All these books are fantasy, by the way, except for one, I think, which is sci-fi. Anyway, if we add it now, then, yeah, it's going to send that mutation to the server, and that's going to add a new record to the database, but it's not updating here, right? So we want that to occur. So let's have a look in MLab, first of all, and refresh over here to see if that record has indeed been added. Yes, it has. Thud, fantasy, and the author ID is right there. But... It's not appearing here until we refresh the page. Now, that in my eyes is not great. So we need to figure out a way to refetch this query. So rerun the query to update the list when we've added this book, when we've made that mutation. So let's have a look at the code because there is an easy way we can do this. So if we open up the uh, clients folder and then go into components and then it's book list, this is the component that's rendering those books. And the query that we're using is the get books query. That is what is retrieving all of those books, the list of books, right? So what we really want to do when we add a book is rerun that query. We want to go out and get those books again so that the component will re-render with the added book. Makes sense, right? Now, there is an easy way we can do this. If we go to add book, when we add a book here by using this mutation, what we can do is tell um, GraphQL now, or Apollo, to go and refetch a particular query. So we can do this by adding on a comma after variables right here, and then saying refetch queries, right? And this is gonna be an array of different queries that we want to refetch. So each item is gonna be an object, and it's gonna have a query property. Now we need to say which query we want to refetch after this add book mutation has fired. Now the query we want to refre uh, refetch is going to be this get books query. So let's copy that and paste it right in here. But this is not going to work just yet because we've not imported this into this file. So if we try to run uh, this file now, it's not going to know what this thing is. So let's import it up at the top. It's from the same place as the other queries right here. So we'll paste it right in there. So now hopefully when we make a mutation, it's going to refetch this query right here and then therefore have more data in the props of this component and therefore re-render the component with that new data. But let's give this a whirl in the browser just to make sure. All right, I'm going to refresh first of all. Then for the book name, I'm going to say the long universe. I think that's a, a sequel to this, but I'm not sure. Uh, the genre is going to be sci-fi, mix a change. And the author is going to be uh, Terry Pratchett again. All right. So if I press add now, then fingers crossed, hopefully we'll see something appear here. So, yep, we do. Awesome. Now it's appearing here because what we're doing is after we run this mutation is we're saying, okay, now refetch the query that is responsible for this component, refetch that data. It refetches the data, figures out it's got more data available to it on the props, and it re-renders that component. So we now see the new book here at the bottom. Awesome. So we've taken another step forward here. In the next video, we're going to take this one step further, and we're going to create a book details component, which uh, appears when you click on one of these different books. It's going to show you details of that particular book.